Do you remember yesterday that I said it was between coffees two and three that I cleaned my home each lockdown morning? Well, meet Robin. She's a wildcat and described by the vet as one of the most aggressive ferals he's ever met. If you followed my journals last year, you'll know Robin has had severely fluctuating health. Well, since Christmas, she's been particularly poorly and taken sanctuary in my house. She's been so unwell that I've adjusted my cleaning routine around her presence. For example, I don't hoover until she goes out. Well, today, my floor a mess after the recent storm, Robin decided to go out before I even finished my first coffee. Boy, did I leap into action. Hell, I even hoovered behind the bed and pulled the sofa out. It was definitely an all guns blazing housework hero hour this morning. these boots have different colored laces I mean they're quite distinctly different anyway but as the thing that really or perhaps just look for the yellow and the red and that for me they're kind of coded if I put these on then it tends to mean I'm staying at home fairly local might be going shopping uh, maybe a small local walk but if you see these ones go on with the yellow laces then you can be fairly sure that I'm setting myself up for a pretty good little hike. Um, now the situation today is I'm not very well. I have three things I do need to tick off and that's go to the post office, collect the Jeep and do the shopping. And my thought was I would do one each day and take in the scenery around that location. Uh, but as it transpires, I'm not going to do any of those today. Uh, I'm going to take my medication and I'm going to make myself a packed lunch, potentially, I need to see if the food is still in date. I'm going to pack up a bottle of water and I'm going go for a lovely local stroll. Um, I just feel the need to be near home. Um, but I'd like to have my camera with me. I'm not going to pack up a big hiking kit. Uh, I don't want to take the mickey out of the lockdown situation, but I am permitted to exercise. So a local walk is in the offing. But first, let me see if what I want for lunch is in date. Because that could change the whole plan. I might have to change my boots. Hmm. Okay, well, the eggs are in date. The bread's not, but I think we'll be able to make do. So yeah, let's get lunch on the go and packed up. Maybe I should even eat it before I go. Ooh, there's an idea. Less to carry. Well, who knows, I'll just get on with it and uh, then we'll get out the door. So, um. Did you hear what I just said a few minutes ago? I wonder if I'll even keep the audio in on what I said a few minutes ago. I said, I'm unwell. I've got three things I should be doing. I'm unwell enough not to be wanting to put myself in charge of a vehicle. And what do I promptly decide I'm going to do instead? I'm going to go on a really great hike. Yeah, thankfully my brain kicked in after that and I was like what on earth are you thinking and f and funnily enough then messaged a friend who also said yeah what on earth are you thinking so I don't know I'm going to gonna make my lunch which is just a simple egg mayonnaise sandwich or two and see how 
I'm feeling after that and after I've taken my medication. Part of the part of the problem is when I'm unwell, although the meds can turn that round for me very, very fast, as in stop me getting more sick, the body still needs to recuperate so I can end up being absolutely exhausted for a day or two. So yeah, we, we, we will see. I've, I've got no idea what's going to happen today. <laughs> Isn't that reassuring? That was nice and checking the time. My goodness, I've already had lunch. The reason the coffee mug's on there is I haven't had my third coffee yet. I've been quite busy this morning, if a little all over the place. So I'm gonna tidy up, oh boy, and do some more chores and decide what's next over a coffee. That strikes me as the most sensible thing I've possibly done all day. you know what? I might actually have to go back to bed for a couple of hours. I've got a couple more chores to finish off. It would just be good common sense to tick those boxes. Things like washing, you know, put the wash in, it takes care of itself while I have a snooze. Wow. Okay, this was a little unexpected, but it is what it is. First though, coffee. Oh, I can still make good coffee. How devastating would it be if I made lousy coffee? We're good, we're good. This may not be my cleverest idea. The wind is still quite high. See? Hi. Get now? But not not finito. Well, plan B on the snooze then. Um, the trunk on this beautiful tree is, well, you can already see it's split, but it's got a second split, which is going to take this whole branch down if we're not careful, which is the majority of the tree. So one, we've got an awful lot of dead branches on there. So they're going to lighten that up for me. Uh, so yeah, a, a noisy, couple of hours coming on up hey fuji you okay oh they're spooking you okay sweetie don't worry i'm about to um about to take them down and put them back in their place oh bugger one of the cats has sneezed with them um, Obviously a mouthful of food. It's never ending, is it? Never ending. We'll have to do. So I was just about to set an alarm for 45 minutes, have a quick siesta and see if I feel better. I think since we last checked the clock, two hours have passed. Hey, hello, look at that, must be sunshine. Two hours have passed and damage to the tree. We've done what we can there, but um, there's been more chores. Like I say, just about to do a 45 minute alarm and I've remembered some more chores. So we'll just do those. Such an exciting day. 
Ahem, <clears throat> yeah. Let's get this lot out. Just all the towels for the cat beds. Well, not all of them, but cycle number one. Now the weather is good enough today, to be honest, to hang these on the line, but the dryer is fantastic at extracting hairs from the towels. So, dryer it is. Just gonna get my own washing in now. Oh, almost there. Great, that's done. So that wash is going to take longer than 45 minutes. The reason why I'm so time constrained in the afternoon, let alone any commitments I've got to anybody, calls, emails, anything, is um, that at about four o'clock, oh, I wonder if you can hear that over the wind. At about four o'clock, I start looking after the cats, feeding them, getting their medications ready, whatever it takes. Uh, which doesn't leave me much time, but let's see what I can do. Snooze time, I think, deserved. I'm not sure if deserved is the right word, really, actually. Well, snooze time is going to happen. Although, I do have to admit that I was so thrilled to put these boots on today that I'm genuinely a bit, um, a bit disheartened about having to take them off. But I guess this is real life, and who knows, uh, if I feel better after a snooze, then maybe I can put them back on and go for a short walk up the Camino. That would be super cool. Yes. Oh, little thing. When you live with cats, you put your shoelaces in the shoes. Doesn't really seem to matter what age the cat. Dear lovely computer. Computer? Hmm. Set a timer for 45 minutes. 45 minutes, starting now. Thank you. going overhead which is the hum you're very lucky that um, mr. squeak there has just turned up because uh, that's going to doubly ensure that this conversation is a short one we've got Fuji there and then we've got blackie sitting there and pauses around somewhere I unbelievably sitting out here it's not the greatest of you I apologize guys Sitting out here with my fourth coffee of the day. This is the first day this year, and probably the first day, excuse me, I'm gonna have a sip. The first day um, in six months, if not longer, that I've, actually it will be longer. It'll be, it'll be the first day in sort of like a year that at home I've had four coffees. Ah, oh, there's Paul's. Can you see it just over there? So the great thing about sleep, um, by the way, I overslept my 45 minutes by an extra hour is that for me as I drift off to sleep it's quite often times when I have some uh, thinking time and my thoughts were today that I'm telling you I'm not doing much today because I'm unwell and yet I hope conveyed through uh, what I filmed today and just how I sounded I actually sounded fine and I think an explanation is due. I think long time I've, I've wanted to avoid that. But I think uh, this should be the one and only vlog where I explain myself in detail. So, uh, explanation, let me just get myself comfortable. I have late onset 
uh, anaphylaxis. And that basically means I, I experience severe allergic reactions. About three years ago, now four years ago, um, two things were identified that should I come into contact or consume, they would kill me in less than 10 minutes. That's quite a way to live. Although it has to be said being hit by a bus potentially is going to kill you even faster and cardiac arrest and such like is going to kill you faster than 10 minutes. But to know I have an everyday risk of this, regardless of my age or the rest of my health, is quite something. Now, because it was late adult onset, I've never experienced it before in my life. My um, body functions weren't behaving as they should be and I was warned at the time that there was potential for me to develop this severe allergic reaction to other things as time progressed and two years ago Christmas 2019 that's exactly what started to happen something else started to try and kill me or rather my body reacted against it so extremely that I was constantly teetering on the edge of an anaphylactic shock. And anaphylactic shocks, I don't know if you know much about them. Uh, people, I suppose we could generalize. Um, for me, I usually if I'm lucky, I get uh, head to toe hives, so a rash. And that lets me know that I've come into contact or consumed something that my system is absolutely rejecting. Now, we can talk about rash and hives and people think, oh yeah, you know. Um, but mine are really severe. Uh, quite how my body generates hives that fast, uh, they can, they literally become lumps, red lumps all over my body. This is attractive, isn't it? Um, and and then when I take my medication, how they disappear that fast. Now there's two sides there. So that's the first. The first. Typically, that's the first signal I get. That's Can and Cat, by the way, going over to see her sister Fuji, who's under the sunbed. Uh, I lose track. And that's going to happen a little bit today. I apologise. Um, hives. Yeah, so how, how my body copes with the sudden creation of hives and the sudden clearing up is, is just incredible. But obviously requires a lot from my body because from those alone, I'm exhausted. Now, we'll very quickly, before I go into the next series of anaphylactic uh, symptoms, we'll very quickly reference the medication I'm on. I'm on an old style medication. Uh, a medication they've tried to move as many people who have anaphylaxis off because this medication is so damning that the pharmacist basically is always really surprised to see me uh, in person because this medication is such that I should be bed bound, I certainly shouldn't be compass enough to work, I certainly shouldn't be compass enough to drive and yet I do it all. Now in fairness to them they did try and move me onto a more modern medication to treat anaphylaxis um, and, and, it, and it didn't work thank god I had some of the old medication with me so I have to stay on the old medication and, and at times I have to take it morning and evening and, and very occasionally I have to double dose right so we've got that now if my anaphylaxis gets out of control and like I say I've got typically less than 10 minutes each time I get a sign it's about to kick off. Uh, my blood pressure plummets. Now, that means that suddenly my body is being deprived, chronically deprived of oxygen. Uh, none of my organs can work properly. Simultaneously, my throat will try and close and my eyelids... Uh, will swell and, in, and indeed my lips swell as well but I notice my eyelids because I, I suddenly go blind and it's quite quite extraordinary to lose your vision so incredibly fast but the plummeting blood pressure also means that my brain stops working and I remember the first time I had a very severe attack I had to actually be brought back around by the hospital um, I couldn't get over the fact that I couldn't think 
so I couldn't do things. Uh, I also get the shakes, which is a bit daft because you're legally here in Spain, I have to carry three EpiPens, one on my person, one in my bag and one in the vehicle. At all points of time, obviously I also wear uh, medical identification. Um, so yeah, so gosh, I hope I've explained everything I need to explain today. So I'm aware of two things already that uh, try and kill me. One's easily avoidable, one absolutely is not easily avoidable and is a daily risk, constantly, uh, it doesn't matter if I'm at home or if I'm out and about. But like I say, there's this third thing that is causing anaphylactic onset with me and at the moment we don't know what it is. I was being, oh yeah, I was telling you, I was being tested for it up to February, March 2020 and then COVID-19 hit the island and all my hospital appointments of course had to stop. Uh, the side concern there is that uh, the medi my medication suppresses my immune system. Basically my immune system is reacting inappropriately to various uh, factors and to stop my immune system doing that we have to stop my immune system and that's one of the things my medication does which is why it is so difficult for me to fight off anything um, and my health is incredibly hard to control so that's today so today I very surprised Oh, I have to show you this. He breaks my heart. But it's going to be the first time I've caught it on camera for you guys. This is Mr. Squeak walking. I'll do his food in just a minute. Oh, bless him. Let's just let him come through the cat flap. There we go. So, uh, yeah. So, today I came out in hives. I have dealt with the exhaustion of the medication, which I had to take. I've dealt with the energy it takes for my body to generate the hives and then pull those hives back, uh, basically get rid of them. Um, so whilst I sound great, or hopefully sound great, um, there is there is this inexplicable uh, fatigue behind all of this. And this is also why I didn't want to get into the vehicle because I never know day to day when I take the medication if it's going to work. I mean, I've, I've spent several, too many days this winter having to what, do what we call double dose. Uh, and literally that's double up my medication. And, and I'm basically doubling up the exhaustion, the crippling exhaustion that comes from the medication alone, let alone the fact that my body is obviously struggling and losing the battle with something that... Uh, is trying to kill me. So there we go. Uh, this is not the vlog I intended, but I, I seldom is there a day where the vlog is as I intended. Uh, this is just a bit more of a serious conversation than I was anticipating having with you. But we have had it now, and you now know, and will always know, why I suddenly will have stay at home days or cut vlogs short or may not vlog at all. Uh, I hope those days where I don't vlog at all are incredibly rare and few and far between. But yeah, I hope after I've posted this, I feel better for sharing this with you. I hope you feel better informed for me having shared this with you. Uh, oh, I've got a little spider on me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to disappear now. I'm going to call it quits for today. As you have seen, Mr. Squeak has turned up for his meal. Oh, I tell you what, I might just film how I prep his meal because it's kind of special. Uh, and he deserves it. And can I do zoom on this? Let me just have a look because I want to show you Cannon in the tree. That is so cute. No, I'll have to um, keyframe zoom it in for you. That's adorable. Thank you so much for watching today. And with that, may I wish you good health and happiness. And perhaps I'll catch you tomorrow. Ages ago, I promised you I'd explain the sieve. Mr. Squeaky can't chew.
at all. So I have to liquidize his food. I didn't realize this was going on with him until he turned up one day and pretty much collapsed at the front of the studio. He's a wild cat that I've just had the greatest of pleasure of looking after for the last couple of years. So here goes, this is pretty much what we have to do. Basically, there's one serving so far of this food in here, and then it's one part of that food, one part of water from that can, which I've just got to measure out. part for the next couple of minutes of my life morning and night seven days a week done i mean i'm, I'm so thrilled he trusts me to come into this because he is such a wild and just trusting cat excuse me i have to pick up the camera let's um let's just show you when he gets his food because he's sometimes he can be unbelievably adorable about it. Hello, Mr. Squeaky. Hello, beautiful. Hi, beautiful boy. Oh, Squeaky. You've seen the camera in my hand. Come on, Squeaks. It's okay. Beautiful boy. It's okay, now. There you go. Good boy. I love you. It's for you. There we go, guys. Catch you tomorrow. Looks like it's time for me to... Um, Feed the gathering hordes. <laughs> Have a good night.